Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll do a couple of exercises and we'll try and find what is our Hickson demand for specific values of Px, Py and the satisfaction level and a given utility function. So this is our example one. Suppose the utility function is Cobb Douglas xy and suppose Px is 1, Py is 1 and let us say mu is 4. We want to solve for Hickson demand. How do we do this? First we are going to plot an indifference curve corresponding to 4 level of satisfaction. Okay, so we are done. Notice that the indifference curve is going to look like this. And if you want to solve for Hickson demand, we want to minimize x plus y subject to the constraint that x times y is greater than or equal to 4. Okay. So clearly we want to pick a point in this region that minimizes x plus y. Okay. This is x y equals 4 and this is xy greater than or equal to 4. Okay. So in order to do that, again, we are going to plot ISO expenditure curves. Okay. So let's plot them. They are going to look like this and this is the one that minimizes expenditure. Okay. And this is our Hicks in demand. Okay. So let's find this point. So what is the property of this point? There are two properties that this point satisfies. The first property is that it lies on x y equal to 4 curve because that's that's our indifference curve and other property is that at this point marginal rate of substitution equals pi's ratio and what is the marginal rate of substitution here well that's y by x and this should be equal to px by py which is the slope of the iso expenditure curves together these two conditions are going to give us x equals 2 and y equals 2 and that's the hicks in demand Okay. So this is our second example. Suppose utility function is minimum of x plus y comma 2y. Okay. And suppose px is 2, py is 1 and mu is 2. Okay. Again we want to find the Hicks in demand. So we are going to just write this utility function in a convenient form which is do x plus y if x plus y is less than 2y and that's equivalent to saying that x is less than or equal to y. Okay, And it takes value 2y if x is greater than y. Okay, So just, just try this yourself that this is how uh, the utility function is going to take value in these two regions. Let's uh, let's now plot an indifference curve for two level of satisfaction because we want to minimize 2x plus y subject to the constraint that utility is greater than or equal to 2. So we are going to plot u greater than or equal to 2 here. Okay. So let's plot it. So if you're going to plot an IC for u equal to 2, then in this region, x less than or equal to y, we would like to plot x plus y equal to 2. So let's plot that. This is 2. And in this region, when x is greater than y, we would like to plot 2y equal to 2, so which is y equal to 1. So this is how the indifference curve is going to look. The slope of this portion is 1 and the slope of this portion is 0. Now we want to minimize 2x plus y subject to the constraint that the point is picked from this region. So what we're going to do is again we're going to make iso expenditure curves and iso expenditure curves have slope 2. Okay, So let's, let's do that. So I made a few iso expenditure curves here that lies or that passes through this region and you can easily see that as we move down in this direction we are reducing our expenditure okay and clearly this point is the point where we'll be minimizing our expenditure so the hicks in demand for this particular problem is x equals 0 and y equals 2 okay so that's that's the solution okay 
so in this video we have learned how to find Hickson demand through graphical method okay in the next video we'll learn how to find Hickson demand function thank you